Hello once again and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer and Support here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic will be creating a furniture schedule that has images of the furniture listed. Now, this will, this will be a short blog, but let's remember to look at the bigger picture, which is how to add images to your schedules. Sounds interesting? Let's get going. As we can see here, we have a small furniture plan for which we will be making a furniture schedule. For the furniture schedule, what we do is we go to Schedules, Schedule Quantities, and we look for furniture. Once we have it selected as the new schedule, we say OK. And we are first going to import a field called images, which is a new field that was added uh, about two or three uh, issues of the Revit software, okay, ago. And it's called image, okay. This is the one that will allow you to add the image to the schedule. So you don't need to create a, a property or a field that will be able to do that. It's already being created for you. So let's go ahead and pass it onto the fields that we want. We uh, have added also the uh, description of the item in the type mark. So we're going to look for type mark here. Okay, and we're going to insert it right underneath uh, the image mark. Okay, and then we'll say maybe the name or something along those lines like the family and we'll pass it on right we don't really want to do too much uh the all items that we want to look at are really in the images and that's what this whole uh, blog is all about so let's go ahead and say okay to uh, let, rather than say okay let's go ahead into the sorting here and we'll go and say and sort it by mark okay and we'll go and say and we'll leave it like that for now i uh, just want to make sure that the mark is up on top of everything so we have the tar the mark the image and the family okay and then once we have all of that done sorting is done the formatting we're going to leave as it is we just go ahead and say okay and now here is our um schedule okay and what we need to do is as you can see here okay there is already an item added to our images which is the small credenza okay so that's that that's one okay let's go ahead and say okay then we have the task chair let's see how we add that so we come over here in here and we have the little button okay and we go ahead and say add to that little button okay i have already pathed myself into the, the specific place that has the images for the uh, item and we're looking for the task chair or the chair Okay, executive desk, standard desk, credential cooler desk. Here's the office chair, and we'll say open, and there it is. Okay, once we say okay to this, the item will be placed there. So all we really have to do is just make sure that the chair has been added to all of these right here. Okay, just like this. All right and so on and so forth if we wanted the desk for example we would do the same process add and that is uh I'm not sure if it's the the large desk or not but we'll go ahead and say okay here's it we have a an executive desk and okay and we have the large conference table so let's go ahead and reception desk Small credenza standard in, and here's the reception desk, executive desk. Okay, and it's been added, so we'll just go ahead and say okay to that, and it appears and it uh, goes ahead and populates. Now, the question really is let's go back over here to the furniture plan and that we have in the sheet. Okay, and double click in here. Okay, so the question really becomes, whoops, too many clicks. 
the question really becomes is how do we actually go ahead and make these uh, images for these items? Because a lot of these things do not come with images. So it's rather simple. What I actually do is I select the item, okay? I double click on it so I know that I'm going to now be opening up the model or the actual um, um, the actual uh, family. I go ahead and put a little color on it so it's a little bit uh, nicer. Okay, I go ahead and center it as much as I can. And I use this particular little program right here called it Snippet that comes with Windows. I say New. Okay, and I go ahead and go ahead and define my area. So it now is going to grab that. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to call this one Cabinet. Okay, and we'll say save. So now we've seen the process of creating the image file that we need. And now that we've done that, we can actually close this. Save changes no to the particular item. We come back over here to the uh, furniture schedule. We look for our cabinet storage cabinets. Open it up. Say add the image, which is going to be the cabinet. Say open that to that and say OK. And now that cabinet has been added. The question now becomes is how does this look in the actual furniture? Because we don't see the actual uh, image of the, uh, um, of the item that we want here. Well, that's going to be shown once we place it in the actual sheet. OK, let me double click out here so we can get out of the uh, viewport form. And let's go ahead and bring in the schedule that's going to be right over here under the schedules here's my furniture schedule drag it over and place it and there you see how the images are added to the schedule and now you have a complete image image schedule if you continue actually populating the images and populating all of the fields that you need to populate okay now remember if you need images for the your windows, for example, in a window schedule, you go through the same process. You select the window that you want, you take a snapshot of it, you save the snapshot, and then you add it to your schedule, making sure that you add the image um, uh, item or the image property that we are actually allowing the schedule to have in order for us to be able to place images on the schedule. Very well with this. It, if this is Jim Cuervo with Digital Drafting Systems, thanking you for watching. Until the next one, be safe, stay healthy, and thank you.